Hi guys, time for a bit of football I think, um, yeah it's been about a week since, um, yeah about a week since uh, I last played our game, uh, yesterday evening I I had a sort of a loose plan that I was going to uh, uh, rewatch my last uh, stream just to kind of get up to speed on where we're at and yeah that just didn't pan out um, so I'm simply going to jump right in so that's the one we're doing uh, I've played one well I loaded up the the test game just to kind of have a game you know for fun in the meantime and uh, I just kept losing to Fulham no matter what I did over and over so so I've sort of haven't made any progress in my test game or for this game um, <clears throat> now let's have a look. Oh, we just got our ass kicked by Arsenal. Fair enough. So we've got a reserve game in four days, and then Bolton's going to be tough, isn't it? Yeah, they're sitting quite high in the league, and we're in relegation zone. We need victories. Mm. I yeah. Let me look at. I'm going to go through the full fixture list here. Yeah, it's not been good. We lost that one. We lost that one. I mean, the West Bromwich Albion, especially on the back of that victory over Celtic, we should have we should have won that one. Manchester, fair enough. That was quite a good result. Tranmere was getting. Liverpool was a good result. And Arsenal, yeah, just the wheels fell off. So we've got a couple of tough games coming up for us. Very important. Because... These are potentially winnable. Potentially. Um, I'm just going to have a quick dive in here. So I've got one injured. Let's have a look who that is. Oh, is it the very long term? Yes, yeah, Alan Tate on his... Um, yeah, that's not important. Sorry, Tatey. <sighs> you know, the club loves you and everything. You know, and you're you're still there but uh, like in Swansea really today although you behave very weirdly in a match and you got in trouble like deservedly you shouldn't do that um, yeah this was our our concerns were the lack of firepower mm, lack of real quality on the rings we've got plenty of speed we've got a Got a bit of quality in midfield. Mm. We got Stephen on the loan. That guy, that was a new one, wasn't it? He was a new one. Yeah, he's. He's just big, basically. Um. Mario in goal. We've got form. We've got Tremel. So Mario is down as backup. Uh, I I haven't really settled on my best first team yet, and that is a problem. Um, You know, we're still very much a championship side. I, I could just, feel, you just feel it. We've got a couple of players that are kind of like decent Premiership quality, but pretty much we're we're championship side with a couple of like you know, this guy's one who's good. So he's worth two point six. He's worth one point five. That's what we paid for him, and he's worth two point four. So it's kind of interesting. I think this is just because of how much we paid for him. Yeah, hold on, let me... This is something I think I didn't go through. Um... Hmm... 
Mm -hmm. Actually, how much did we? No, no, no. Benfica. Go back. So it doesn't tell me it's an undisclosed amount. And he seems to be kind of over, overvalued a bit, maybe. Uh, I'll put him down as 2.5. And he came in his backup thing. Rangel. Okay, he's set. So we're... Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just... Because... Um, if we get other clubs starting to get interested in some players, then I need to be sure that if any offers come in, yeah, this guy, this guy will improve quite a bit. I'm going to put him down as, I'll put him down as 2.5. Um, He's older, but I'm going to put him down as 1.5. You know, I won't expect anybody to come for him, probably. We did get him free. Dyer. Mm, I'll put him down as another 2.5. Oh, no, we'll, we'll do that. Now this guy, yeah. Yeah, I really want to try and keep him. Uh, so I'm going to be a bit like five. I'm going to put him down as a 6.5, just to kind of keep people at bay. Okay, that's that's really generous. <laughs> I put him down as three million. Yeah, whatever. I mean, he's he's like he should be like top quality for us. Um, he's just not scoring. Maybe I need to change the way we're using him. So he was the new guy, 1.4. I mean, he's not like superb. I'm just gonna put him down as that. Uh, you know, I think if he was gonna be a constant first team starter, he would need to be like, probably heading and jumping 15. And then, it, as a defender, he'd be reasonably solid. But considering he's so tall, he's not very good at jumping or heading. Um, Lloyd Samuel, he was our other free guy, but he's really useful to us. So, at least while we develop um, our other Welsh left back, Neil Taylor. But he'll certainly do for a year or two. Joe Allen. Kind of potential, potential to get injured. I mean, he will be worth more than three million in the long run. No, then. Can we? The guy who always, I always have difficulty trying to work out where he fits in my team. I sort of like playing him as a right wing, but. Um, Really, he's, he's kind of better as a um, a central midfielder, creative player, just because he's passing so good. Uh, Danny Graham. Hmm. 
another one that should do better for us than, than he likely will and probably he's going to be transferred at some point uh, control he's probably not going to hang around he's very quick but he's, he's kind of lazy according to his stats here at least um, Dobby he's yeah he's he's good I like his attitude uh, I'm going to put him at 2.5 Jess which is this young kid I'll put him at 2.5 That's just so undervalued, it's just not funny. Um, for the club, at least. Although, you know, it's maybe it's kind of fair. <coughs> like, at... Um, pardon me. At the level... Um, Leon Britton kind of represents he's really like kind of a top tier championship player um, Sinclair is going to get better for sure he's a top tier championship player and, and just in the Premier League yeah you, he's kind of there but but not really Leroy Lita I think Leroy Lita's got to go he's I can't believe he's valued so high I'm going to put him down for um, yeah I'll put him down for that and if I look okay we yeah, I don't know if we got him on a free or not um, Vaughan was he's probably set isn't he I would have set him yeah I just did didn't I 5 million yeah um, Monk Like reserve backup, definitely band dog captain. Uh, so new guy, Wayne. Um, I'll put him down as one point eight. Um, yeah, this guy's gonna go six seven. I'll I'll check him in for a million. A million might might be able to sell him for a million. Uh, oh, we have the guy who wants to be our number eight. Uh, yeah. Mm. You could be number eight in our reserves, probably. Get a I kind of feel like this guy should maybe get some more game time in our first team. I sort of brought him in as a as a backup, but he's he's kind of quality young guy. Yeah, not too worried. He'll be he, he won't make the grade, and the other guy's gone. Okay, so they're all set there. Now then, there was another thing I wanted to do here. Um, I wanted to do the view. I wanted to do general info and I wanted to do age that way around because I want to have a chat with all these guys development tutoring yeah mm, he's not really creative oh it's such a shame why yeah um, Again, it's kind of like, well, okay, I'll, we'll go with, we'll go with with this guy. Learn from this cultured midfielder. Oh, come on. 
Okay, Whew. we'll see how that goes. They may not get along. Disappointed in Jessa. Anyway, uh, same again. 31. Development. Tutoring. Who have we got? Whoa, really? Okay, fine. Yeah. So these guys, this is kind of just to give, um, to develop some sort of like, ooh. Mm. Maybe go for pipe. I mean, these are all like young guys that are probably not going to feature in my team. Now, do we have Cassie Thomas? Yeah. Okay. And just to give some of these these older guys, like you know, new guys at the club, just some uh, kind of contact with the sort of the grassroots of the team in a way. Oh yeah, David, he's gone. So then, okay, yeah, you can do that, guy. Yeah. So we want to get those set up. That's probably a good idea. Will Neil be okay with that? Oh, come on, he'll be great. Oh. Oh, maybe that's because there's a rivalry in the position between the two of them. And, like, Neil Taylor knows he's sort of, like, basically breaking through. I don't know. That's a bit weird. And that's just, yeah, that's a shame. He's going to be upset now. I mean, they're both big lumps. I mean, David Kingdom's going anyway, but... Now then, do you have... I think there's one other guy. Oh. Okay, we'll see how it goes. I, I expect a couple of these people not to get on, it seems. Oh no, back. Very bold, private chat, development, no tutoring, okay fine. Is it Langel? No tutoring, okay fine. I mean my under 18's team are, are a bit thin possibly, private chat, development, ah there is someone here. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, I, I like it when they just are like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> it, it makes it very... Okay, this is, I hope, no one. Do you have anyone? Yeah, you do. Who you got? Try to case, okay. Yeah, cool. Mm, I don't... Do we have anybody for the left? We might have. Well, there was that guy who didn't want to... Neil Taylor. Oh, let's see. Now, Taylor, listen, don't be rude like last time. Okay, fine. Phew. Mandy. Oh, come on. Okay, phew. Okay, so yeah, there's going to be some fallouts. Uh, Williams, anybody left for you? Future club captain, probably. Oh, come on. Oh dear. Sorry, Ashley. Uh, Vorm, I don't think Vorm has anybody. No. Goalkeeper's taken care of. Um. Uh, Vorm, Danny Graham. Hmm. Okay, does have somebody who do you have Thomas Craig Lopez? Okay, go there. He 
only two. So they're getting quite young now. Oh, there's someone. Get along. Uh, is there anybody? F no. So Strike is taken care of. Uh, what about you? No. Okay, I think that might be it. I think we might not have any more. I'll try one more down here. Uh, yeah, no. No. Okay. <sighs> so we did all that. So that's done. So now let's just check our mails. Yeah, we were absolutely hammered. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a quality player. Arteta. Yeah, he certainly was. Our ratings did all right, though. So we're, we're right in a relegation battle at the beginning of the season which isn't great we have had some tough matches um, and out of those probably our draw with Liverpool was the best result um, yeah so we'll do a reserve match um, and yeah this is our next this is going to be hard yeah I'm going to have to look at um Yeah, what can we do with Bolton? Sort of very different teams. They're a very kind of like solid physical team. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I could go four four two and just check a chance, possibly. Hope for the best. Um, yeah. Mm. Goal kicks. I yeah, I don't want people to kick, that's the thing. So what can I give him? Mm, I'd be I think I'm more likely to I want to give him jumping training, to be honest. I mean, he his aerial ability is okay, but he doesn't have a lot of jumping with it. This is fine. Oh, maybe even his positioning. Can I do positioning? I'll have to have a look. You don't? No. No. That might be giving him jumping, it might be the wrong thing, like maybe for goalkeepers aerial ability is the is the key one for that. Jumping maybe is just for defenders, you know, for heading the ball. But I'm looking at that it's about kind of mo his physical ability to be mobile and, and do the jumping that gives him good aerial ability, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, Jamie Patterson, okay, let's just get someone to give him a thing. Uh, yeah, we'll scout them. Andy King. In real life, Andy King did come to Swansea a couple of years back, it was. He just came for a season or half season or something. It didn't quite work out. Okay, so who? So we've got him there, he's tired, tired, fine. Yeah, now then let's. So this is definitely our second. Oh, Rangel, what are you doing there? Oh, it's because Alfie's out on loan. Uh, 
Um, in that case, Um, yeah, I'm going to need him fit for the match against Bolton. Uh, okay, he can. I'll, I'll, I'll try him. He's got Monk inside him, so a bit of experience. Yeah, it's very, very raw. Uh, and we're going with Sinclair on the wing there. Rita Graham up front. Mm. I mean, I guess this doesn't matter too much. So I guess he can cover defence and midfield. Or defensive midfield. We've got him for midfield. We've got left and right. We've got backup striker. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he's just come to the club, so he can gel in a bit. Team talk, it's a home one. So do it for the 50 supporters that are going to be here. Ah, okay, I've got this. Okay, this, uh, yeah, this is good to show. There is a bug in the game engine where it's like it just drops the frame rate goes terrible so when it does this what I tend to do is um, I'll go 2D match engine um, we're just showing kind of key it's a reserves game so I'm just going to do key key points of the match um, yeah, and uh, it's kind of funny this bug. It's it's just oh that was close. It's a temperamental bug. It just comes every now and then. Um, yeah, it can. Yeah, just yeah. I, I don't think it's a driver issue because actually I've had this same bug on this game across a couple of different graphics cards and different drivers um, it's just sometimes you'll start up and it will do it um, sometimes it will resolve itself um, you know like uh, from half time maybe the half time break and it will just sort of suddenly be smooth again um, so I'll keep an eye on what the FPS are doing and seeing if that happens. Oh, goal! Hooray! Danny Graham scored. Amazing. Yeah, for reserves, like the the strike team up front is decent. So. I mean, this is how <laughs> Football Manager used to be until I think the... Crikey, what was the first one? Was it 2009? Might have been 2009, might have been the first 3D match engine they put in. Um, so, you know, you would... You couldn't really judge your shots were like going high or... You know, if they look on target but then don't go in the goal, they're just obviously high. But you won't know until they did pass the goal. 
Um, so let's have a look what Curtis has to say. Okay, so I think what I I need to make put it on a plate basically for our guys. So I will do. I'll encourage them because they're doing well. Play, and I'm going to pull down a couple of standard. Um, get it forward. Work it into the box. Let's see how we do. Ooh. Yeah, I could see that just in that little build up at the last moment there. Tutke is a decent player. <coughs> is he Turkish? Not sure. I remember when he when he first came around, he like a very like talented technical kind of player. I don't know what happened to him. Come on guys, let's go! Okay, Lita, hooray! So both my new guys, Lita and Graham have scored. So yeah, the frames are still bad. So this reserves match is just going to be all frames. He was, okay yeah, just on side. Kind of lucky there. An opportunity goal that one. I'm going to pass it. It's kind of funny, like. Kind of playing, playing as Swansea at this era, at this time, and like you know, knowing the the history history of the club since then, uh, and where we're at now. It's been a very weird transfer window. We just lost, like, you know, our most promising kind of youth prospect central defender uh, Tottenham got him um, just like a couple of days ago and uh, yeah we got 11 million for him and the general feeling is that um, Tottenham got him for a steal I mean there's oh there's valid reasons I mean he's like uh, at the end of last season or the beginning of this season whichever stage we're in now with it um, this guy Rodon um, you know he's just emerged as a Welsh international central defender you know he's young he's a young kid but um, uh, we lost probably our most experienced central defender uh, Mike van der Horn a Dutch player been with us for a few, few years um, and he had sort of come in to fill the role while the club was struggling with, you know, going out to Premiership and finances and all that kind of stuff, and so this youth guy got an opportunity. And kind of came up. Anyway, uh, let's let this play out, and I'll be back in one second.
Ah, okay, I'm back, and we scored another goal. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I didn't do any changes, and luckily no one got injured. So who got man of the match there? Yeah, Leroy Lita. Okay, fine. So let's do team talk. Tell him that he's done very well. And they've all done well. Good job. Yeah. Okay, he's surprised. Fine. Um, and I, in the other game that I play alongside this one, um, like my test one, um, it's quite funny because my reserve team are like second in their reserve league and they just play much better than my first team. And I have had conversations, so I've been thinking that maybe I should switch out my first team for my reserve team in the first team matches and see what happens. Um, but okay, so that was fine. That's a good result. But the big one is coming. This this Bolton match is not going to be nice. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, decent. Good. 27. We don't have the money for that. Um, okay, so he's... He's a central midfield player. He probably plays for Hungary, doesn't he? Um, let's have a look. Um, yeah, central midfielder, attacking midfielder. He's got some lovely kind of technical skills, but not really a work ethic. And Andy, I mean, yeah, he would be a quality. So I mean, I guess the problem is that if you have too many of the better Welsh players, then come international matches, your squad kind of gets decimated. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're not looking to sell him anyway, are they? No. 21. I mean, I would say... Joe Allen's a little better. Yeah. But, yeah. A possibility. Two days. This is such an important match. Like, Sunderland... But at this moment, I think they're just going to they'll kick our butt. Uh, Wigan. Wigan, we're going to be in a relegation fight against Wigan for sure. Bolton. Hmm. I mean, I can't outmatch Bolton. Um, Bolton's kind of physicality. That's, you know, they've been building that style and pattern for a very long time. Um, so what are we going to do? Yeah, this guy actually, this is interesting. He came, he played at Swansea as well. Uh, he he was quite a pivotal player when he was with us. Does it have him in the, in the history? Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, here. Yeah, he he was he was actually really pivotal in us getting promoted to the championship and like our, our initial success in the championship. So he's a quality player. We know him very well. Um, hold on, no, 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 no. So yeah, fine. And they've got a quality creative player there. Yeah, look, yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, they've they've been at this level longer than us, so they're they're quality. Yeah, he's a good player. <laughs> thanks yeah thanks dude it isn't being an easy job that's for sure um, so I'm pretty sure they're going to line up 4-4-2 and in a man for man basis their midfield is going to kind of completely dominate ours um
Oh, I should... Why isn't that saved? Did it appear there suddenly? Okay, yeah, that's there. So then, what are we going to do? Are we going to play... It's a home game. So we could play Bolton style and just kind of like hope for the best. Um, you know, this at least will have two attackers up top. Otherwise, it's going to be our attackers and wing people. A little bit, yeah. Ah, I'm tempted to go with this one again. Do something like that. Um, I mean, that will be fairly combative. The issue will be Edu's fitness. Um, you know, this is a very physical game. Actually, both Adu and and Edu could suffer. But then, who have I got as replacements? Because Joe Allen has a tendency to to get injured too. Um, I think Taylor's going to swap out for Samuel. Especially, yeah, I think that's right then. Heal Kolka, yeah. Um, again, Orlandi's kind of getting it just because he does our corners for us. Now then, Dyer. Dyer over Cottrell, yes. Scott Sinclair needs a rest because he played in the reserve match. Kemi's going to be a replacement. Mm. Britton played. Um, it seemed like... Did Jazz not play in that last match? It seemed like he didn't. Now then... <coughs> kind of a raw... Raw talent, but I'm thinking if I put Bo there, and then I'm going to bring Jazz on for Edu. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, because if if Adu gets injured, I can probably drop Bode back there and bring on Allen. And really, we'll just use Jazz's um, kind of physicality just to kind of like shore up that. You know, he he's not the most refined, but he works hard and, and his physicality is good, which probably we need against Bolton. If Adu gets injured, I'll drop him back and bring Allen on. I think that. That might work for us. I do again. This is just a match that for I do. He's gonna get kicked around. Um, Moira in goal. Okay, this is the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to see how many games. So he's had two games. Vorm has had one, so it should be Vorm definitely. Formation, formation. Yeah. And then we were just going to... I think what I'm going to do here, because um, we had that bug last time, I'm going to save the game. We haven't had to save yet. Uh, I'll start the match. Um, if there's a bug with the match, I might just um, quit the game and reload. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so it's four four two straight, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, so Ngog is kind of up against Williams and Kolka is against Davis. But I do have Ado kind of just to mess up that central thing there. Yeah. 
yeah <laughs> yeah I, I I agree with that um, but come on guys come on look the fans are here they need something yeah really this is one of the games that we could win And okay, I still there's still this issue. So what I'm going to do, like I mentioned, uh, I'll be back in one moment. Hold on. <laughs> 